Today we're going to be tying a mayfly. This one happens to be in the style of a March Brown, but this video is not really about tying a March Brown, it's tying a mayfly in general. You can choose the color of your deer hair, the hackle, your wing, your tail, in order to change the actual mayfly that you're tying. This body is a body that we used previously on another video about three months ago that was the inchworm. We've got a lot of fish on that inchworm this spring. So, figured I'd morph it into a mayfly. It floats very well. This deer hair stays on top of the water. The hackle works well. Didn't need any floatant. So let's get to tying it. First we're going to tie the body. Body is uh, something you need to put together. You can do a dozen at a time. I tied a bunch of these the other night. The reason you got to tie a bunch of bodies first is you're going to use a little super glue on it. You want to give that super glue time to dry before you start tying everything else on it. We're going to start with a little thread. This is a A dot thread here. It's a little more delicate to work with. It's good to start with a little thread base. Tie it back to the top of the bend of the hook. Bring her back to the front. Just uh, short of the front of the hook. And the deer hair that we're going to use for this is a dyed brown deer hair. This is uh, looks like the belly hair of a deer. It's rather short, shorter than all the other patches that I have. So I'll take a big chunk out of it. Clean it all up, get all the under fur out of it. Put it in your stacker, get all the tips aligned. It's about the size of the clump you want. Pretty good size clump. And you're gonna tie it in. You're gonna leave enough room on the near the eye of the hook to Put your hackle on. Go ahead and wrap it back. A couple big spirals. Back to the bend of the hook. Bring it back up. Careful not to hit the point of the hook here and cutting your thread. And go ahead and wrap it in. Alright, go ahead and clean that up a little bit. This uh, area right here gets covered up with some dubbing. Pitches. Cut your thread away. You're going to insert a sewing needle into your vise. Just like that. I'm going to move this over just a little bit without losing focus, hopefully. 
and from here take your fly and place the butt section right over top the point of the needle slide right on top of it there go ahead and start your thread back on it's going to spin on you a little bit that's no big deal Cut your excess thread away here. And grasp all the tips together there. Here we go. Go ahead and wrap under the hook point there once and behind it wrap backwards get that a little firmer there wrap backwards to as far as you can wrap to right about there all right a couple wraps and then now we're going to go back forward here overlapping your previous thread wraps up but under again back out front go ahead and tie it off with a couple of half inches again And there you go. Go ahead, cut your thread away. Now you're going to take some super glue and the thread on the back. You're going to dab a little bit on it to help secure it. This takes a few minutes to dry, so that's why I tie about a dozen of these up at a time or more. And there you go. Here's your body. Pretty quick and simple to do. All you gotta do is take it right off the needle there and you're done okay from here what you want to do is insert your body back into your vise it's the fresh body that uh, tied previously first thing I like to do is cut off the excess deer here to make it nice and even on the end now we're going to go ahead and add your thread back on. Now we're going to make some wings. I take a mollard flank. This one just happens to be dyed yellow. What I did, I trimmed the center out. I got two equal sides there, pinch them together lay them right on top but you want it far enough back from the eye hook
uh, capture it in. You don't have to do a pinch wrap or anything fancy. Just capture it in. Make sure it's the length that you want it. We'll make these a little longer so you can see them a little better. Pull the wing up in front. Tie in front of it. Tie on top of it there. Back a couple times. Cut the excess away nice and close. Good, tie that in. Now we're going to split the wings. Bring your thread back to the base of the wing here. Find the center again. Oh, that looks, looks pretty good. Take your thread. Get your fat fingers out of the way here. It's going to be a little tougher to film, but take your wing and split right down the middle with your thread. Bring your thread back around the same way. Pull it up in the middle and tie in front. Now your wings are split. Got actually a little piece of broken wing there, huh? Let's cut that away. Cut it away now, and we won't have to worry about it later. There we go. Do a couple more wraps in front there. A couple more behind. And there you go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some dubbing. Bring it back just a little bit here. We'll start right about here with the dubbing. What I want to use is this uh, laser dry fly dubbing. It's brown. You don't need a lot. Go ahead, twist it on your thread. Nice thin noodle. Good. From here you're going to pick a hackle feather. Pick a uh, one that's a little oversized. Okay, the one I picked out actually is it's grizzly, but we're not going to use that part of it. We'll use the brown part down below here. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the grizzly. You want to go ahead and tie it in with the doll side facing you. Tie it in back a little bit. Up in front of the wing. And go ahead and cut away that stem. From here, you want to go ahead and start wrapping. I like to make these nice and thick. A nice big piece of hackle on here. Do uh, about four wraps in front or behind. Do about three or four in front. One, two, three, and I can get one more in there. Four. Actually, I can get one more after that, but we'll just stop right there. Go ahead, tie that in. One more. Just shorten that up a little bit. Alright, go ahead, cut away that hackle feather. Of broken in there. See if I can reach in without cutting anything else away. Here we go. Alright, now they got a bunch of hackle on there. 
we're going to go ahead and put a couple hatches, half hitches on it. Well, that broke just in time, didn't it? I wouldn't even pull it that tight. Alright, we're going to glue it in there anyway, so that's good. See how that looks. Okay, looks pretty good. Go ahead, take your UV finish, dab it on your bucket. We we'll use two Bakkens here. One, too much on there. Just want to coat your thread. Good, cure it. Okay, looks good. Got that one piece of hackle there. See if I want to go back in place. Yeah, it does. Not bad. All right, here we're gonna add a tail. Easiest way I found to do that is take your bodkin, clean it off a little bit, stick it right in the center of the butt section there, make a little hole. You're going to take a paintbrush, take about four clumps off of it. Now you're going to add a little super glue to the paintbrush you just removed. Right to the tip of it there. Don't be shy, put a lot on there. This will hold it in there nicely. Take your rocking out. On that same hole. Stick it right in there. All right. Now, before that sets up, don't play with it too much. Could actually do some trimming if you want. In the meantime. That looks pretty good. Get that out of there. Okay. Now what I want to do is a little bit of UV finish. Right on the edge. Good working around a little bit. Good, cure it. I'm gonna make sure there's no tack to it because you're gonna add a little marker to it. Take a little Sharpie, this little brown Sharpie of course, 
they add a little color to it. How does that look? All right, and there you have it. Got yourself a little mayfly, March brown. Of course, you can make it any any mayfly you want. If you want to, you can split these tails. Take a clump. March brown actually has two tails, that fork tail. You can split it. About like that. And there you go. Little March brown mayfly made with deer hair, hackle, little mollard wing. A paintbrush tail, a little dry fly dubbing on there, floats like a champ. It's bigger. It's a bigger mayfly, and it's good for this time of year. March browns uh, do hatch uh, through July, I do believe, in Pennsylvania. I haven't looked it up in a while, but I do believe that's the case. So it's time to go fish them. All right, I hope you like this video. Hope you like this fly. They uh, not too hard to tie. Actually, it's just basically it's two flies on one. It's the inchworm and a mayfly. And here you have a nice little deer hair mayfly. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Stay safe out there.